Hey everybody, welcome back to the chaotic, chaotic, oh my god, chaotic little book corner. The, the, uh, my, my book corner is eating books now. I have lost an entire haul. I don't know where it went. It's, it's just gone. I, I had it and it's, it's gone. And... <laughs> One of those books I led, read last year, week, no, last month, and it's gone. It's just gone. So, uh, I'm freaking out. I, um, I use panic. Yes, I use panic. I use panic bad. Panic attack? Uh, that may come after I film. Um, she's just gone. She's poof. She's a poof. Okay, I, I don't know. But you know what the good thing is? One of those books, I ordered twice by mistake, so I have one of them. To replace the one I'm missing so I can talk about it and then I can talk about the sequel without having the book in front of me because I'll be able to show you the book that the first book comes from and the sequel will be discussed with the first book in front. <sighs> okay. This is my January part two wrap up. Ow. That was painful. So let's start with um Okay, now I'm confused. Okay, I found one of the books. But... This is a book I have double copies of. That doesn't help me. Which one did I mark? This one... Not this one. Okay. They look different. They're actually different. One looks darker than the other. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to break. I'm going to break real quick. I'm just... I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Okay. You know what I'm going to start with? I'm going to start with talking about the book I listened to on audio, which is Broken by Johnny Lawson. I got an arc of the Broken by Johnny Lawson on Libro FM. They sent me an early copy of it. And I don't always talk about the books I got on Libro FM. If you'd like me to start talking about all the books that I got on Libro FM, let me know in the comments down below. I will talk about all the books that I got on Libro FM. But listen... I listened to that book and it was amazing. It was absolutely brilliant. And I love Jenny Lawson and I want to work for Jenny Lawson. And if Jenny Lawson ever sees this, I want her to know that I am a kindred spirit who has lost all potential by losing a book and can't find it in their own home. And now I'm yelling at you and I don't want to yell at you. So I'm going to calm down. But Jenny Lawson's broken. So good. It was really funny funny like all of her other books but there was like a good chunk of it where there was like kind of a sad moment where she was talking about memory loss and I I felt it like I felt it hard because my dissociation I thought it was March for five days and I celebrated my anniversary a month early and I called my nephew to say happy birthday a month early and I was confused why Facebook wasn't showing me pictures from last year. And I was confused why I wasn't doing inventory at work. And I was confused why my schedule was the same as regular. Like, I was lost. And I just, I love that book. It was so good. I, I related so hard. <sighs> I don't think you understand... How much I relate to Jenny Lawson. Like, I don't think you understand 
how much I am so fucked up. Like, uh, I can handle shit. Like, I can handle it. I know how to handle it. I'm a big girl. But the idea of getting out of bed and doing something is horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. And I've been, like, pulling away from everybody. <laughs> And like, this is really hard for me right now, these videos. I just relate to Jenny Lawson so much. So yeah, that was my favorite book of the month. I loved it. I absolutely adored it. I would highly recommend it when it comes out in April. Yes, in April. And when it comes out in April, it's going to be the book of the month for her, for her book club. I am in her book club because I want that book. Also, because I want that book signed. I don't know if it's going to be signed, but I'm going to want it signed. So if she sends it to me unsigned, I'm going to buy a copy that is signed because I want it signed. I am desperate to get all of her books signed. I have ordered... I Anyway, okay. So then I read the first four Murderbot books. Um, I don't know what order they go in off the top of my head because I can't think. If I just look at the year, I could probably figure it out. I, I can't. Okay, so All Systems Red, The Murderbot Diaries, Rogue Patrol, Ro Rogue Protocol, uh, um, Artificial Condition, and Exit Strategy. So these, I loved. Like, I... <laughs> I really love these. I thought these were great. I really didn't think I was going to like them. I bought Murderbot 1 to just see. Like, I was like, I'll give it a chance. I saw it on Naughty Librarian's channel, and she was, like, really loving it. And I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And what ended up happening was I read book number one, and I was like, oh, I need all of these. So I have the full-length novel up there. I just need to read it. But it's Black History Month now, so I'm not reading non-black authors. Um, basically, this is about a robot that has gained consciousness. And he just wants to sit in front of the TV all day and veg out. I see no problem with that. But his protocol insists that he protects humans. So he's just like annoyed constantly by humans and all the trouble that they get into. Um, the other part of that haul that went missing is the third book in this series. I don't know where it went, but I have it on audio, so it's fine. This is the sinister mystery of the mesmerizing girl. Um, this is the sequel to... What's it called? The Strange Cake of the Alchemist Daughter, which is about um, Jekyll and Hyde and Frankenstein and all of those original horror sci-fi fantasy people um, from the classics. And their people in the Victorian time, like their children, mostly girls. And... Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's really basic. I read the sequel. I had fun with it. I listened to it on audio and followed along. I thought it was amusing. Um, was it incredible? No. Would I say that this series in general is incredible? No. But when I want to zone out, it's pretty darn good. Um, ooh, did I bend that cover? No. This one. Black Buck. Okay. People are loving this. Like, they're swearing by it. Like, people think this is fantastic. I thought it was okay. I, I didn't love it. I don't know why. Like, it sounds so smart. It's about a young man who is living with his mother and, like, down on his luck. And then he gets into sales and suddenly he's, like, rising to the top. And it's, like, 
forgetting your people and not really remembering where you come from and identifying with uh, social class and race and environments and what that looks like and how people grow in industries. Very smart. Very smart. Like, I think it's good. But I thought it was just okay. Like, I... I didn't think this was a blow away book. Am I going to keep it? I don't know. I really don't know. Does this deserve to be on my shelf? Oh, I'm not sure. I've been being very vicious about that lately because your girl has a lot of books. Um, this one, how to do nothing resisting the attention economy. Yeah. People love this. People think it's fantastic. People actually swear by it. But uh, I thought it was stressful and privileged and white and very info dumpy. And I thought it had I just didn't like it. I thought it was really privileged. Um, and Barack Obama loved it, which makes me think that I'm missing something. That I'm, like, just not smart enough to get it. But Barack Obama has some privileges now that I don't think people in lower class economies have. I think he did have those lower class economy lifestyles and he understood that for a really long time and I don't think he's forgotten where he comes from but I do think that his taste in books is a little more mainstream and a little less niche and I think that this book really holds a place in the high mainstream genre like this is super general it's not really deep and I just didn't think it was all that. Did I learn anything? Yeah. Like, I got a little bit out of not being on social media as much, which is great. But, like, I don't think it changed my behavior at all. I really don't. Like, I think... I think basically what it did was it got me into a headspace where I was trying to process the idea of allowing myself to do nothing, which is something I'm really bad at. I'm not good at doing nothing. But I was hoping it would teach me how to do nothing in a more general way versus in a more no social media kind of way. I know how to read a book for like, hours on end so I don't if that makes sense like I know how to disconnect from social media I know how to do it so this book didn't really tell me too much new because I'm not so obsessed with social media that I'm always on it um I'm on it at work because I'm sitting in the chair and if I read I get so focused that I stop doing my job and I know that when I say sitting in the chair what I mean is um, at my job, we count people because we have a limited amount of um, customer allowances in at a time. Our limit is 20. So I have to count people and then tell people that they can't come in until somebody else leaves. It sounds like a cushy job, but people yell at you and it gets very vicious. And they fight with you about wearing a mask and they get really mean and they tell you you're stupid. And it's just the whole thing. Um, I've been threatened to be raped I've been threatened to be punched I've been told to go fuck myself I like the list goes on and on like it's just it's not a cushy job I've had some people be like you have the best job and I'm like not really so like I do social media there because if I didn't I would cry like if I didn't zone out in some way I would cry but I do it because one no one else wants to do it and two I've actually gotten to the point where I'm learning a lot by telling people, no, you can't come in. Like, I'm learning some defensive skills and boundaries, which is great. And I probably need to point that out to my boss because he feels like I'm not doing anything. Or maybe he thinks I'm doing something, but he feels like I could be learning more. I feel like I'm learning a lot doing this job. But anyway, so there's that. Um, this is the Tea Dragon Society. 
really cute, really sweet. I really enjoyed it. I think it's adorable. Do I want to read more from this author? Yes. Do I think that I'm going to read more from this author? Yes. Um, oh my god, there's a card game. Is that real? Oh my god, there's a card game. I want that card game. I will find it. Um, so yeah, this is just, I mean, people love this. This is great. It's, it's worth the hype. It's really, really worthy of the hype. It's really cute. It's really cute. It's about tea dragons. It's about dragons that grow tea out of their head. You don't not love that. It's just weird. Um, which one do I like better? I can't pick, so I'm just going to pick this one up first, and then I'll talk about the other one. Um, I read the sequel to this as well. That's The Missing Book. Don't want to tell you too much about the sequel anyway, because it's going to ruin this first book, but I'll tell you about the first book. Um, the Murders of Molly Southernborn is about a girl who every time she bleeds, um, every time she bleeds, and she's a she, um, a new clone of her is born and tries to kill her. That's the premise. It's super short. It's super fun. It's really easy to digest. It has a lot of value to it. I loved it. I thought it said a lot about um, how much a woman bleeds in her life and what that looks like and what blood represents for a woman and how her identity can be stolen at any time and how the idea of her killing herself is just blatantly obvious. Like it just, it makes sense to have the conversation about a woman potentially bleeding so much that it kills her it just it makes sense I I thought it was really smart maybe I wasn't supposed to look as deep into it as I did but I thought it was super deep and interesting and really fun um the author though oddly enough is I believe a black man I think if I'm right and that just absolutely shocked me um, I'm going to order his other books and read those, but like, I think I'm right. And I think it's a black man. So that was insane to find out. I didn't figure that out until after I'd read the series. This is the house next door. This is the story of what happens when you're the house next door to a haunted house. It's really fun. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really smart. It was really dark. It was great fiction. It was really easy. It was really fun. Um, I didn't know I was going to love it as much as I did. <sighs> Would I recommend it? Yes. Would I recommend it to everybody? No. Um, I think you have to like... I think you have to like horror to like this if you don't know the horror genre well and you don't know the haunted house story well you're not gonna like this you have to kind of know the tropes otherwise it doesn't work um so yeah that is everything that i read in the second half of january i don't know what i'm going to talk about on thursday i'm considering cutting back to one video a week um i'm getting really overtired and I'm really stressed and I'm losing a lot of mind juice over this. Um, I don't think that's even a word. I don't think that's even a thing. Um, but I don't want to leave you guys and do, I, I, I would feel bad going down to one video a week and I would feel stressed going down to one video a week, but I would also feel stressed doing the two videos a week. So I think I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing for the last few weeks and just not editing, which has been messy and longer, but you guys seem to be fine with it. And if I lose you over this, I'm sorry. I've been swearing a lot more, which if you're uncomfortable with that, I'm sorry. And you leave, that's okay. I understand. Um... I've just been a little more genuine in terms of my chaos and my stress level. Um, usually I try and hide it and be super peppy, but it's just not happening lately. So I'm just going to do it my way. Um, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. 
Give me feedback. Let me know what you'd like to see. Are there any videos you'd like to request? Please let me know. I could always use some ideas. And I want to try and do a couple more videos about Black authors this month. So if you've got any genres, uh, book types, you know, ideas, let me know. I would love your feedback in the comments. Uh, question, comments, like, subscribe, all that down below. In the description will be linked my Patreon if you want to support me. We're reading, what are we reading? Oh god, I can't remember. We're reading a, a book about what happens when a woman finds a man about to jump off of a bridge um, and the two of them become interlinked somehow. And it's a black author and it's for black month it's for black history month i didn't have all black authors optioned for this month which i felt bad about because i thought we were going into march it's just been a crazy it's been insane um you guys know my affiliate link is down below to the ripped bodice would you guys like it if i got an affiliate link instead to bookshop.org would that help? Um, would you rather be able to support black bookstores? Let me know. Um, I'm also an affiliate with Libro FM. I don't have a link and I don't, <laughs> well, I do have a link. Like I, it's just the Libro FM website, but uh, I don't make any money or anything off of that. I just think it's a better option than Audible, except I did find two Audible originals for um, black poetry online and they were super cheap they were like two bucks which was great um more beautiful than Beyonce and homie I found on audible which I picked up um yeah it's been a crazy it's just been insane I I started doing audible as well because I was gifted it and so I've been doing that because they paid for like six months. And so I've been doing that and uh, I feel guilty, but like it's an extra free book and I just, I'm doing it cause I'm doing it. And then there was extra content and it was just, it was all a lot. I, I feel really socially conscious right now and I just don't know what to do with myself. Like I'm really aware of everything and it's really stressing me out. I will talk to you all in the next video. I'll see you there. And love ya. Talk to you later. Love my subscribers. Love my Patreons. Bye.